India just made a major push to become global electronics hub. On 9th June, the government relaxed key rules in the special economic zones to attract semiconductors and electronics manufacturers. But why does this matter? Because semiconductors are the brains behind all our digital technology. From smartphones and laptops to AI and electric vehicles. Currently, countries like China dominate the chip production, which left India vulnerable during the COVID supply shocks. To change this, India launched Rs 76,000 crore Semicon India program in the year 2022 and now it's going further. The minimum land required for semiconductors special economic zone has been cut from 50 hectares to 10 hectares, making it easier for smaller players to set up shops. The requirement for encumbrance free land that is free from legal complications has also been relaxed. Most importantly, the special economic zone units can now sell domestically after paying all the duties. A big shift from their traditional traditional export-only model. And do you know the impact? Two big investments are already in. Micron is setting up a rupees 13,000 crore semiconductor unit in Gujarat and Acus Group is launching a electronics SEZ in Karnataka. What are your views on this move? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe to Epitome IAS.